I discovered this poem, Daisy, by Francis Thompson several years ago, and interestingly, my understanding, or more accurately, interpretation of it, has evolved over time. Wikipedia, wherein I provision all my affectation of learning, describes Thompson as a Catholic mystic, which seems to me to be tautological at the very least. He was certainly a chap with problems, reared by a medical doctor who was a convert to Catholicism, sent to a seminary in Durham as a frail, shy, withdrawn scholar, dropped out of medical school where he'd developed a, an addiction to opium, worked at unskilled jobs and became suicidal. He eventually succumbed to tuberculosis at the age of 47. In one lapse back into his addiction, Thompson was helped by Wilfred Mayle, a, a writer and editor who was also a convert to Catholicism and who sent the poet to a priory in Storrington in Sussex to withdraw from the drug. It was here, while walking on the South Downs, that Thompson met and befriended a group of local village children collecting wild raspberries, which encounter inspired this poem. As poetic constructs go, the last stanza of this poem takes some beating. I love it. Daisy where the thistle lifts a purple crown, six foot out of the turf, and the harebell shakes on the windy hill, O oh, breath of the distant surf. The hills look over on the south, and southward dreams the sea, and with the sea breeze, hand in hand, came innocence and she. Where, mid the gorse, the raspberry, red for the gatherer springs, Two children did we stray and talk, wise, idle, childish things. She listened with big-lipped surprise, breast-deep mid flower and spine. Her skin was like a grape whose veins run snow instead of wine. She knew not those sweet words she spake, nor knew her own sweet way. But there's never a bird so sweet a song thronged in whose throat all day. Oh, there were flowers in Storrington, on the turf and on the spray, but the sweetest flower on Sussex hills was the daisy flower that day. Her beauty smoothed earth's furrowed face. She gave me tokens three, a look, a word of her winsome mouth, and a wild raspberry, a berry red, a guileless look, a still word, strings of sand, and yet they made my wild, wild heart fly down to her little hand. For standing artless as the air and candid as the skies, she took the berries with her hand and the love with her sweet eyes. The fairest things have fleetest end, their scent survives their close, but the rose's scent is bitterness to him that loved the rose. She looked a little wistfully, then went her sunshine way. The sea's eye had a mist on it, and the leaves fell from the day. She went her unremembering way, she went and left in me, the pang of all the partings gone, and partings yet to be. She left me marvelling why my soul was sad that she was glad, at all the sadness in the sweet, the sweetness in the sad. Still, still I seem to see her, still look up with soft replies, and take the berries with her hand, and the love with her lovely eyes. Nothing begins, and nothing ends, that is not paid with moan, for we are born in others' pain, and perish in our own.